A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduluju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. Yesterday, we started a discussion on destroying evil roots, and we considered Matthew chapter number 13, verse number 6, particularly part B of it where the scripture says, and because they had no root, they withered away. We said that things wither without root, and that every problem in a man's life has a root, a foundation, a legal ground that has allowed that problem into your life, whether affliction or pain, sicknesses or diseases, whether delay of any kind, barrenness of any kind, that is always a root. The root could be physical, the root could be spiritual, the two root could be what you have caused or brought upon yourself. But until the root is tampered with, the problem will remain standing. So we began to look at some roots, at roots rather, and we looked at one, which is sin. This is most of the time at the root of the problems in a man's life. The man at the pool of Bethesda will have been down for 38 years. We found that eventually in John chapter 5 verse 14 that it was sin that was at the root of his problem uh, because when Jesus found him, Jesus said, Behold, you have now been made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. So sin was the root of the problem he had for 38 years. What could be the root at, at the root of the problems that a man could be having? Number two is habit, bad habit. A bad habit could be at the root of the problem of your life. That habit could be at the root of your stagnation. You must deal with every habit that has the tendency to deal with you. Never take it as part of your life. Never see it as your fate, F-A-T-E. Deal with every bad habit. Whatever people have complained about in your life, that habit, don't let it ground your life. Every thought develops to your word, becomes your word, your word becomes your action, your action, repeated action becomes your habit, your repeated habit becomes your character and then becomes your lifestyle. Don't take it as a lifestyle, don't make it be your character, deal with that habit. Habit can be dealt with, habit is like a glass, it will not break if you don't drop it. So you have to drop that habit at the root of your problem. Drop the habit, drop this saucy attitude, drop this bad attitude, drop that bad habit, drop it before it ruins your life completely and finally. Number three is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a very terrible thing. When it, where it festers, it begins to destroy the fabric of that life and of that destiny. Unforgiveness is a very terrible root that holds a man down, grounds him. And that was why Jesus Christ said, when you are praying, tell your father and devil to forgive you your sins as you forgive those who sin against you. But if you don't forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will not forgive you. There are very many people who have been tied by unforgiveness to forgive. Don't forget is to set a prisoner free and to discover you have this all this while being the prisoner, forgive if you don't want to carry on problems in your life and in your destiny. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive those who despitefully used you. Forgive those who cheated you. You have to forgive. Let them cheat you. Leave them in the hands of the almighty God. So don't allow unforgiveness in your heart. Unforgiveness is a very terrible root that holds people down, that holds people to sicknesses and to diseases. You feel light when you forgive. You see, feel the burdens lifted off your shoulders. You feel well because you are forgiving the man that deeply hurt you. Forgive. Unforgiveness is a major root of problems in people's lives. What about bitterness? In Ephesians chapter number 4, verse number 31, the Bible says you should not allow bitterness in your heart. 
Never allow bitterness. Bitterness is a very terrible sense of feeling of anger and vengeance against a person. Bitterness wishes the person dead, wishes problem for that person. You are bitter. When you begin to wish that someone will just die, your enemy should just die, that is bitterness. And the Bible says you must not allow bitterness in your life. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31, the Bible says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Don't allow the root of bitterness to hold you down. Bitterness itself is a root, and once it ties and holds you down, it pains you down. It does not allow you to move forward in life and in destiny. Drop that bitterness. Don't allow bitterness to ruin your life. Another root of problem is murmuring and complaining. Murmuring and complaining. In John chapter 6 verse 43, Jesus said, he answered and said to, to them, murmur not among yourselves. Don't murmur. Murmur and complaints complicates a man's matter, complicates the situation. Murmuring and complaining never solve any problems. Rather, they tie you down, particularly those of us who are involved in spiritual things. Murmuring and complaining against your spiritual leader can actually bring destruction to your life. Data, Korah, and Abiram, they murmured and they rebelled against Moses. The heart opened up and swallowed them. What amazes me as a rational and right-thinking person is the case of Moses, who married an Ethiopian woman. Miriam and Aaron, older siblings of Moses, had murmured and complained against this wrong. And the Bible says God became angry with them. They complained about what they felt Moses, the man of God, did wrong, but God was angry with them. It was just the oil on Aaron, the anointing on him, and because of the priesthood that saved him from leprosy. But Miriam didn't have such a privilege. She carried leprosy for a season, even in the camp. Don't murmur, don't complain. Murmuring and complaining have been at the root of the problems in certain people's life. Repent of that complaint and murmuring and change your attitude and approach. Never sit anywhere to join people who are not going anywhere to murmur or complain against your leader. Number six, curses. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. We have been redeemed from the curse of the law because that sits at the root of the problems of mankind. But Jesus has redeemed us from that curse, having been made a curse for us, as it is written, cursed be everyone that can get on a tree. And so we could see curses also being at the root of the perennial problems in some people's life. That curse has to be broken if the destiny must be liberated, if the destiny must move forward. Standing in my office as a prophet this morning, I decree that every curse that is afflicting your life and your destiny be totally broken in the name of Jesus. I declare this curse is broken after the order of Moses, the man of God. Moses broke the curse over Reuben. Moses pronounced in Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6, let Reuben live and not die. I pronounce the blessings of God upon your life. I break every curse at the root of your stagnation and affliction or barrenness in the name of Jesus. Satanic activities also could be at the root of the problem in a man's life. Activities of the enemy. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 28, Jesus said, an enemy has done this. So whatever the enemy has done, contrary to your life and to your destiny, we undo it now in the name of Jesus. We command the hand of the enemy to be removed from off your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and begin to break every habit, every bad habit, every habit that you know or you sense could hold you down. Begin to break it now. Begin to also deal with unforgiveness and bitterness 
in the name of Jesus. Every habit that has held me down, Lord, I break it. I drop that habit today. That wrong attitude, I drop it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, O oh God, I receive the grace to forgive. I deal with unforgiveness. Unforgiveness will not fester in my life. I reject bitterness. I will not be bitter against those who have despitefully used me. I will not be bitter against those who cheated me. I will not be bitter. Lord, I receive the grace to let go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I thank you for this grace. I am free from unforgiveness. I am free from bitterness in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Lift up your voice and begin to break every curse that is sitting upon your life, upon your destiny, upon your fruitfulness, upon your marital destiny. I break every curse that is sitting upon my destiny. Every curse that has slowed me down or that is slowing me down. Every anti-marriage curse. Every curse of poverty, of smallness, of fruitlessness, of barrenness, of delay, of stagnation. Be broken today. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says it shall come to pass on that day that his body shall be lifted from off your, from off your shoulders and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. I take hold of the anointing of God in Christ Jesus and I break every yoke, every curse upon my neck, upon my destiny in the name of Jesus. The burden of that curse is lifted off my shoulder. I am free now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name. In Job chapter 5 verse 12, the Bible says, God is appointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, let the devices of the crafty and the activities of Satan in my life, in my destiny, in my family, in my ministry, in my business be totally disappointed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, let it be disappointed and destroyed. Every activity of Satan, Lord, every scheme of the enemy, let it be totally destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, satanic activities in my marriage be destroyed. Satanic activities in my business, in my finances be destroyed. Satanic activities in my health, in my ministry be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I silence and paralyze every agent of Satan, every agent of darkness engaged and giving the assignment to work against my interest. You are paralyzed today in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name, the activities of Satan, the activities of the enemy is terminated in your life and destiny today. The curse sitting on your life, on your destiny is broken. The root of bitterness is totally destroyed. Grace to forgive is released to you in the name of Jesus. That habit is broken today and no sin shall have dominion over you in the name of Jesus. The root of of problems, the root of affliction, or the root of, of difficulty, the root of stagnation is destroyed totally today. Receive the grace to move forward with speed, without any inhibition. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Support Daily Impact with Grace Man, with your prayer, with your giving, and by forwarding this message and sharing the link with your contact. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle is at Yemi Graceman. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program, I am Yemi Graceman at Village, wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you.